optic. So here's another fun polarization optic called a half wave plate. Um, so basically what it does is it uses a birefringent crystal. Well, what does birefringent mean? Um, it means it's a material where one polarization travels at a different speed of light than the other polarization. So these are always anisotropic crystals. So like one of the more common ones um, that you see people use is crystal quartz. So crystalline quartz. Um, is an anisotropic crystal and it turns out that one of the anisotropic directions has a higher speed of light than the other one. And so, you know, depending on, you know, if you align one of the polarizations to, let's say, the fast axis and the other one to the slow axis, then they'll travel at different speeds, then the two polarizations will travel at different speeds of light. Um, so what does that, what, what, what does that have to do with a wave plate? Okay, so here's how it works. So, by slowing down one of the polarizations of light, what we can do is, you know, by the time the light exits the, the plate or window or however you want to think about it, by the time it exits the plate, because it slows down, when it exits, it'll be phase shifted from when it went in. Um, and so the way that it works is that um, a, a half wave plate basically slows one of the polarizations down enough that by the time it exits the window, the wavelength has shifted by about a half wavelength. Um, so 180 degree shift in the phase relative to the, the other polarization. So, okay, um, why would I wanna do that? Okay, let's, let's take a look at it. So um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an arbitrary incoming wave. So I said that uh, in, an incoming light, um, you know, incoming light is just an electromagnetic wave. Um, if it's linearly polarized light, then the two things are in phase with each other. What I can do is I can, um, you know, in, in general, the um, electric field can just be written as some vector and the direction of propagation or the wave-like portion can be written as e to the i kz, so k is just uh, is called a wave vector, minus omega t, so omega is the frequency, the, the time frequency of oscillation. So basically like I have some amplitude which, or, or a vector that describes the electric field portion that has to lie in the xy plane. Um, and so uh, I can in, so in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call that vector just the amplitude, whatever the amplitude is, I'll call it E, just capital E, times a vector P hat. P hat can be in any direction. It's just the incoming polarization. Um, but it is, it's a unit vector is the idea. So this P hat thing is a unit vector that describes the direction of the electric field um, for the linearly polarized light. Now what I can do is, um, now if I'm gonna, make this laser go through a um, birefringent crystal, what I can do is I can, you know, the birefringent crystal is gonna have some fast axis. So this is like the portion where, you know, if that, if a certain polarization goes through, it'll go through at a higher speed of light than the other one. So I'll denote that F hat. So this is the direction of the electric field that is, aligned with the fast axis of the crystal and then I'll draw the I'll draw s as the slow axis so s hat is the unit vector describing the portion that's aligned the portion of the electric field that's aligned with the slow axis so all I can do is I can I can take this um, polarization unit vector and I can decompose it um, onto the fast and the slow axis so all I'm doing is taking p hat and I'm going to write it on the fast and the slow axis. So if it made angle theta with the fast axis, then I can, the way this decomposes is I can write P hat as cosine theta F hat plus sine theta S hat. Um, so all I'm doing is I'm just decomposing the polarization vector, unit vector onto the fast and slow axis. Um, so then what does a half wave plate do? Well, the outgoing so what I said was that the outgoing wave will be phase shifted by 180 degrees, but only for the slow axis. Um, and so the fast axis relative to the incoming wave will be the same. 
Okay, so then I can write the outgoing wave. So I haven't lost any amplitude of the electric wave. There's no like electric field dissipation in a transparent crystal like quartz. So the electric field is the same size. The only thing that changed was the phase, um, or the or in other words, the direction of the electric field. So I haven't done anything to the fast axis. The fast axis is not phase shifted relative to how it came in, um, but the slow axis is. So by delaying it by half a wavelength, essentially all I've done is I've changed the sign. Um, so I've just flipped the, the, uh, the sign of the electric field in the slow axis direction. So I can write the outgoing electric field, uh, if, it, if the incoming one was plus sine theta, then the outgoing one must be minus sine theta projected onto the x-axis. Simple enough. That's all it does. Um, so if I think about what that really means, so um, I sort of look at the form of the outgoing wave, the only thing that's different is basically that it's minus sine theta instead of plus sine theta. So it's almost as if um, you know, that's the same as I would get as if the outgoing wave was this yellow, um, uh, this yellow vector. So the outgoing polarization is, you know, if the incoming polarization was angle theta above the fast axis, then the outgoing one is angle theta below the fast axis. In other words, whatever the incoming polarization was, um, the net effect is that a half wave plate rotates the polarization by angle two theta with respect to the fast axis. Okay, so that's what a half wave plate does. It basically just takes a, polariz a linear polarization and it rotates it by an angle two theta about the fast axis. How can I use that to my advantage? Well, there's actually lots of different really cool things you can do with that, but um, let me give you an example. Oh, sorry, let me, let me talk, sorry, uh, not, not quite ready yet. Um, so that's what it does. It rotates any incoming polarization with respect to the fast axis by angle two theta. Um, now in practice, what we're gonna, like the way that a half wave plate is usually used is you mount the half wave plate or just, it's just a birefringent crystal like quartz. Um, you mount that onto something that you can rotate by hand, usually adjusted by hand. And the idea is that, you know, if I can adjust the fax axis to be wherever I want it to be, that means that I can, you know, since the rotation happens with respect to the fax axis, if I can change the angle of the fast axis, that means I can change how much I'm rotating the polarization. Um, and so basically what a half wave plate does, it, at least to linearly polarize light, is when um, when a you know when a wave comes in at some polarization, I can rotate it to literally any other polarization, just by rotating the crystal. 